Yeah. Riddick Bo. K.O. Okay. I got that man. K.O. Hit you in your chest like Riddick Bo. Like Riddick Bo. Riddick Bo. I said I got that blow. K.O. I hit him like. What's up everybody, it's Jay Rum, and right now I'm here to do a tutorial on how to record your own hook and then chop and screw it to make it sound tight. What I chose to do is choose a beat from D to the RJ. He's a dope producer and this beat pretty much fits exactly what I want to do. You're going to learn some basic editing techniques on how to record your own vocals and get that chopped and screwed effect. This hook is going to be an acapella format and as you can see I'm going to have the beats per minute which is 73. Let's jump in here. I'm going to have to record this hook without the screen share because I can't record two audio sources at once and after I get the hook recorded in I'm gonna bring it in here and then we're gonna start to show you guys some techniques and some stuff that I use to get that chopped and screwed effect and how to get vocals sounding pretty clean it's not gonna be a tutorial on mixing and stuff like that but it's a basic editing technique on how to get the chopped and screwed effect and how to get it to sound good so let me get this hook recorded and I'll meet you guys back here in a few minutes hey what's up everybody I'm back I just recorded the hook and please don't laugh at me <laughs> I tried my best not to sound too stupid but I did one main take and then just these little like ad libs and stuff and then I bounced them out into one format so what we'll do is we'll shoot over to track 13 and just send it here now I'm gonna play it for you guys it's straight non-mixed this is what I got so far yeah really bro okay oh okay D to the Lord I got that cold K.O. Hit you in your chest like Riddick Bo. Like Riddick Bo. Riddick Bo. I said I got that blow. K.O. I hit him like Bo. 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 Who? Riddick. Bo. 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 Riddick. Bo. 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 Who? Riddick. Bo. 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 K.O. So. You get the idea of the hook. I think it's pretty tight. It's simple. I restyled it. So it's gonna sound tight when we get done with it. So let's get in and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do this. I chopped and screwed vocals. Since we're gonna be taking the pitch down quite a bit, I definitely want to put these down here real quick. And I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna make a new version, make unique. I do that so if I ever mess up on this one, I can come back and I'll have an original. First thing I wanna do is I wanna roll off some of the lows just to get that mud out of there from my mic. Let's see how that sounds. Low, K.O. Hit you in your chest like Riddick Bo. Like Riddick Bo. Riddick Bo. I said I got that blow. K.O. I hit him like. K.O. Hit you in your chest like Riddick Bo. Like Riddick Bo. Riddick Bo. I said I got that blow. K.O. I hit him like. Bo. 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 Ready. All right, that sounds pretty good. I don't have that low end rumble. What we're gonna wanna do is try to chop it. There's multiple ways of doing this, but my favorite by far is actually outside of FL Studio. And I'll show you guys in a minute, but I do wanna show you guys how you can do this straight from inside here. My favorite way to take pitches down is to use the time stretching knob. And what you wanna do is you're gonna hit pro default. And then let's say, let's take about 500 cents, which is about five semitones down. And you see it's stretching down here. Let's see what this sounds like. I got them come KO Hit you in your chest like Riddick Bo Like Riddick Bo Riddick Bo I said I got that blow KO I hit him like Okay, so it's not bad, it's not great. I actually think it could come up a little bit. We're actually gonna have three of the same and I'll make this one unique also. So we're gonna have your regular tape that you guys can do. We're gonna have an ultra low one, maybe even pitch one up. And I know that sounds weird. That's like, it's not chopped and screwed, but you blend the original in the top kind of low in volume and then you let the main low one right out. So I'm not really happy with this one yet. I got them come. 
KO. Let me go up just a little bit. I got that calm. KO. Hit you in your chest like critical. I'm not too happy with that. So I'm going to set it back to normal, set everything back. Alrighty guys, so I like to use a program outside of FL Studio and it's called Audacity. It's like one of the most like basic plugins ever, but for some reason it just works wonders yeah. on vocals. Riddick Bo, K-O. Okay, let me stop that. I bring it in here and I'm gonna hit Control A to select the entire clip. Then we're gonna go to Effect and then Change Pitch. I like to do a percentage change and I found usually between 12 to 20 minus is a good starting point. And we'll hit OK. It'll change it and then we'll hit Play. Yeah. Riddick Bo. Okay, so I think I need a little bit more going down. So we were at negative 12. Let's go negative 20. It'll generate the effect. Hit Play. Yeah, really bow, K-O, okay. I said I got that blow, K-O, I hit him like. Okay, so let's say you like that and that's what you guys wanted to use. Head up to file and you're gonna go to export. Let's export this as KO tutorial. We'll just call this hook chop low. It's gonna save as a 16-bit WAV file. We'll just save it to my desktop. Okay, that's fine. And then we'll go desktop. Here it is. K-O, okay. So we'll have this right here. And we will meet that one. So this is the original. This is gonna be the higher one. I'll actually make it high right now. I'll do it like 400 cents or four semitones up. Keep it pro default. Like I said, the purpose of the high and the regular one isn't to be the main take. It's just to sit there in the background. Yeah. Okay, so now that we got that, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna make a few changes. And first thing I noticed is this one is a little bit too loud. We're gonna lower it just a little bit. And I'm actually gonna make this one on this channel and this one on this channel. I'm gonna make these mono and I'm just gonna pan one right, pan one to the other left. All right, guys, so I just got done mixing it real quick. I didn't want to show all of my secrets, but this is the final version of the hook. Let me know what you guys think. I added some EQ, some compression and stuff like that. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. So check this out. Yeah, pretty go. Okay, oh, okay. D to the RJ. I got the gun. Like red ball, like red ball, red ball. I said I got that blue K O. I hit him like. guys get the idea of you can record your own hook and you can chop and screw it and kind of make it something tight. A lot of people are wondering who Riddick Bo is. To my knowledge, he was a boxer and I got a request to do a hook for that. So a side tip, these drops that I have in the beat, please make sure when you cut, you use the de-clicking module 
Because if you don't, I selected generic bleeding. And what that does when you zoom in is it lets you crossfade stuff out. Now, if I weren't to do that, this is what it would sound like. Like Rick. This has a much smoother sound to it. And you can do this with any of the waveforms that you have in FL Studio. I highly suggest that you guys use the bleed option to cut out some of that. So this is the hook. I'm gonna play it one more time for you guys. I might make some adjustments, but it's gonna be 73 beats per minute and it's gonna be an acapella format. So you guys get to create your own beat around it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. My approach is when making chopped and screwed stuff, I like to have a high pitch one, your regular voice, and then a low pitch. I usually let the low pitch one be the main. It's a little bit louder than the other two and you kind of just blend the other two in together. And that's how I get my chopped and screwed effects. But let's listen one more time and I hope you guys thumbs up, like this video and we'll be checking out some more tutorials later on. Thanks guys. Yeah, ready to go. Okay, oh, okay. I got that gun, K.O. Hit you in your chest like Red Bull, like Red Bull, Red Bull. I said I got that blow, K.O. I hit him like, boom, 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 Red it, boom, 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 Red it, boom, 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 Red it, boom, 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 K.O.